amazing setting, amazing food, and they are doing great things for the community as well. We have Joe Roskowski, the co-founder of the original Oyster House. Joe, good to see you as always. Good afternoon, Joe. And we also have Mark Birdie from the Alabama Coastal Foundation. Mark, good to see you again. Great to see you. Guys, really exciting. On January 26th, just a short while ago, you had the ribbon cutting for the Oyster Shell Recycling Program that you have. Unbelievable program. Mark, tell the folks all about it. Well, it's actually one of our lead programs from the Alabama Coastal Foundation, but only through partnerships like great restaurants like the original Oyster House. Uh, in essence, what it is, uh, we have a grant to educate the restaurants that used to throw those sh oyster shells away, um, but we tell them, hey, that's a really valuable natural resource. Give them to us. They, uh, we collect them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week, and then get them back into the water where more oysters like to grow. Uh, Joe, I'm sure being the original Oyster House, when you heard about an oyster shell recycling program, you definitely wanted to jump on board right away. It was a natural fit and the right thing to do. Yeah, natural fit, right thing to do. And Mark, there are huge benefits to our environment. Tell the folks a little bit about that. Well, the oyster industry is tr tremendous. About 40% of the seafood for the United States comes from the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a really important part of our ec economy. And, uh, but the oysters are just fantastic. They're a great food source as well as they um, filter water. They provide habitat for other shellfish and other finfish. Um, and they protect from short, uh, shorelines from eroding. So it's a really, they are a really wonderful resource. And the more shells that, uh, that customers buy from these restaurants, the more shells we can get back in the water. And that's the, the favorite um, place for new shells to grow is on the outside of old shells. Speaking of that, you were giving me some interesting facts before this started about how many shells you've uh, recovered so far and all that information. Tell the folks about that. Well, at that ribbon cutting that we did earlier, um, we actually had 16 restaurants participate. We did our first phase up on the causeway. Uh, by the end of 2017, we're projecting 2.7 million shells will have been saved from the landfills. That's about seven acres worth. Um, we did a calculation, it's about 60 elephants worth of w <laughs> a weight uh, for, for shells. That's always a good measurement. How many elephants does that make up? So yeah. you can see huge impact to the Gulf Coast. So Joe, we want to encourage people to come here and eat those oysters because Absolutely. it's going back into the environment. That's but also, right. you've got some winter specials coming up. Tell the folks about we that. Do. I'd like to say, shuck oysters and they will come. Shuck oysters, they will come. Yeah, we do have some, some great specials down here in Gulf Shores. We have a lump crab meat stuffed mushrooms. We've got blackened fish tacos. We've got all-you-can-eat shrimp and all-you-can-eat fish seven days a week. It's very, very good, $9.95. We have whitefish zydeco, which is a great dish, and uh, just some real good stuff, including coconut shrimp with a pina colada sauce. All amazing things you can come here to eat, as well as the oysters, which are going back into the environment, courtesy of this fantastic program. We'll have more information about the program and, of course, all the original Oyster House locations online on the Studio 10 tab. Thanks, guys. Thank you.